for the next princess, the center, I think because of the way her dress looks and everything, I think I'm going to put a feather around here. So I'll do something here, probably with the heart, and then I'm going to come around and maybe come over like this. So I want to I want to draw the stem so that it looks pretty symmetrical. It's freehand, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'll start down here. And I think I will make a heart and a teardrop. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to come back because I'm going to do the feather that is um, what I call a stacked feather. And I can come right over to the princess with these feathers. So I come around and come and then I follow that line back and then back down like this. And this will fill in the whole space. You could, if you wanted to, you can see, I kind of have, mentally I took note that there's a center there. So when I do the feathers on this side, I'll make sure that I come over and um, fill in that space. I'm gonna come over here like this. The tricky part is following, tracking back on that feather. And if you need to, what you can do is put your finger down there and just very slowly track back on that feather, if that helps. Okay, now I want to get back down to this point. And in order to do that, I'm going to do little, what I call long arm circles inside of the stem that I created and I follow the stem over and then I make a circle follow it over it it actually has a flat side and if you needed to again you could put your hand down like this and just kind of guide the back of your foot if that helps you have control you could even use your applique helper if you needed to you see, I follow it over and then I do a circle. So it has kind of a flat side to it, but it doesn't look like it when you're finished. Okay, and now we'll come over here like this and continue with our stacked feathers, stacking them on top of the bottom ones. And I'll go right over to the edge, filling in this whole space with feathers. Now in this area, I know I'm going to have feathers on both sides, so I'm going to get a little bit smaller now. Leaving enough room so that I can come back as I get through this curve. See, as I come back on this side, then I can fill that in with those feathers. So you have to do a little bit of planning ahead. There we go. And I will just do the very same thing to the other side.